The first area of content that your app user comes to is your home screen. With Instant Encore, we have four home screen options that we offer for you to select from. And you may be wondering, why would I choose one home screen or another? And so we're going to take a quick look at those four options and talk about what's good about them and what another, what another option might do differently. So to do that, we're going to go into mobile and take a look at the preview area. Currently, the preview area is set for the icons home screen option. With the icons home screen option, you, it features nine icons connected directly to content within the app. So if I click on an icon from the home screen, it's going to take me directly to that content area. Now you'll notice that we're using the collapsible menu structure. So I can always tap here to see a list of all of the other areas if I have more than nine areas of content. If you're using the tab bar menu structure, then if you have more than nine areas of content, in the bottom right corner of the grid, you will see an ellipsis icon with the word more underneath. And by tapping on that, the user will see a screen showing the remaining areas of content that they can access. So a number of clients use the icons home screen because it has very easy navigation on the surface level of the app. Others like to use um, the cards home screen option. This is our newest option. And the cards home screen option, start off you have an optional image that you can put at the top of the, heart of the cards home screen. And beneath that will be a series of cards. And each card references different types of content. There are cards that are automatically created for your events, videos, music, and buzz areas. You also have the ability to create your own custom cards. So we can see here with the events card that it's pulling in the first three items of content. The next card I have here is a custom card I've created for donations. And again, with the videos card, and this is true also with music and buzz, it'll show the first three items and then you'll have a view all feature. You'll notice with the custom cards that each of those is a combination of image, title, descriptive text, and call to action. You'll also notice that the cards home screen looks an awful lot like the stream for social media platforms like Facebook. We're all very used to doing this vertical scroll on social media platforms and viewing piece of content after piece of content. And the cards home screen option reflects that. Now, some of our clients prefer a, a stronger visual impact from their graphics. And for them, they like the slideshow option. So as you can see with the slideshow option, each slide has a central image that takes up the entire screen. There is a title or descriptive information overlaid in the upper left corner and a call to action in the lower right corner. And by tapping on that call to action, the user goes directly to that content area within the app. You can have as many slides as you like. You can schedule your slides to appear. Um, there can be activation windows where they appear for a set period of time and then leave the app. You can also do that with cards. Uh, but with the slideshow option, it's just providing that uh, impact of that large full screen graphic. Now to move from card to card, because the number of cards are indicated by the number of dots at the bottom of the image, you can move by simply swiping horizontally ac across the screen. Now the fourth home screen option is what's new. And what's new is the oldest 
of the home screen options. It was the first home screen option that we offered back when we first created the system. And to be honest, it's a little dated at this point. Cards has kind of made this an dated concept. But we do have a number of clients who use it still. And it has a welcome message up here at the top that can be changed along with the thumbnail image. You can feature an event. That featured event can be the next immediate event on your calendar, or you can select a specific event to feature for a prolonged period of time. And the What's New feed pulls content from the videos area, the music area, and the buzz area. One of the ways in which we feel like uh, Cards has surpassed the What's New home screen option is that you're not just limited to those three content areas. With Cards, you can have cards for um, your photos, you can have cards for your custom tabs that you've created and your custom content, and even the cards that you have for events show three the first three options rather than just one option. Uh, so we do feel like that cards has surpassed what's new, and we do encourage our clients to try the cards home screen rather than the what's new home screen. Um, but it is still an option in the system, so we want to make sure that you're aware of it and how it works. If you have questions about which home screen option would be best for you, feel free to email us at support at instantencore.com. We'll talk about uh, your content that you have in the app, what messages you're trying to get across to your app users upon entry into your app, and then determine uh, which home screen option would work best to meet those goals for you?